So now we're going to finish our hummingbird and I'm adding some nice flowers for the hummingbird to, you know, feed off of. So I'm going to add some more things to the hummingbird. This is just the beginning. I, I did that in step so one. So what I did was I took some chalk and I drew out my flowers first to make it so much easier. So I just drew the line down here like this. So all you need today for this painting that we're going to do is your uh, primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, and some green and brown and some white, and you can put some black on there too if you want. And then I drew other lines and I added my little flowers. And my flowers are pretty simple. I just made a little petal like that. It's like a letter. It's like a, a bent line and then I took another line to meet up with it and then I just sharpened up the top there so that gave it a nice petal okay so you can make it sad face smiley face meet up and pull out a little bit just to give it okay so let's try that and we just have to paint them in now because there's blue background I'm going to use orange I'm going to add flowers but I'm going to add them an orangey color because orange and blue are, comp are complementary to each other and the green and red is also there's red and orange is also complementary to each other um, so I think that will be pretty so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the petals white because we have a blue background if we don't paint them white when you paint them orange they're going to turn green I know it's funny isn't it but because your background is blue, it's going to turn your orange green. I'll prove it to you now in a second. But I'm going to paint these in here. And, and plus, painting them white like this will also give you the shapes. Make sure you're happy with the shape. See, I wasn't happy with that shape, so I'll just fix it up. Okay. So I'm going to show you. I want to prove to you what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm going to get some orange. Right, so there's some orange. Hope you don't make a lie around me. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny. All right, so I'm putting on the orange, and it's turning kind of a greenish color. It's not bright. It's not, you know. So when that white, when that white dries, then uh, even if I add lots of yellow, let's see. Right, so it's still see the green. Can you see that? So, and that's a good lesson for you too. So if your background is blue and you're trying to put an orange on top of your blue, um, unless you do it before you put your background on, it'll be fine because your canvas will be white. But as you can see, that turned a greenish orange. We want it brighter than that. So we got to, we'll paint all the petals white first. But um, you could also do all your petals white, um, all your drying first and try to paint around but just look what you would have to paint around so it'd be really difficult this is the easiest way i can think of doing it but if you can think of something else please let me know i'd love to hear your ideas and, and what you do and because everybody has different techniques and, and they're always trying new things so it's great to uh for all of us to learn from each other okay, let's finish putting in all the white petals So let's put a few little green leaves on there. Now you can use uh, sap green or whatever dark green you have. Some blue and yellow. You can mix them together and make a nice green. It's up to you. I like this one. It's nice and dark. See how I put a bit of yellow and ultramarine blue together and I have a really dark green. Isn't that pretty? Is this just as close to it as that one there? That sap green there. Look. They're almost identical. So you can make your own and or you can use it already on the tube. So it's up to you. Um, yeah, all right. 
Let's do that. Let's add a few little leaves. Let's see, let's see. I'm just using my flat brush all the time. Little leaves. We're going to highlight some of this now after. Touch and pull. Might even have some hand down like that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but. So, let's go green, yellow, touch and pull. Alright, so let's go. You can start the top and pull in if you want. Touch and lift. Touch, push and lift. Touch, push, and lift. Touch, push, and lift. Touch, push, and lift. Push and lift. All right. Make sure you catch that out. Touch, push, and lift. Touch, push, and lift. There we go. So we'll do orange. Orange. Aren't you glad I didn't use red? Now I'm going to use the same brush. I'll be using the same brush for for everything I need to do here. Small flat chiseled edge brushes are great for all kinds of really nice details. Because they got that chiseled edge, see? See that chiseled edge? Look, you can barely see it when you turn it that way. And that's fantastic for getting around the edges. So what are we going to do? Let's see. Orange. Orange, orange. I'm not even going to mix it. Look, I got red and yellow together. Right? And I'm going to go over some of those flowers because they look, see that now, how nice and bright they are now because I put the white on there. So much better. So that was a good lesson for you, wasn't it? So I think I forgot to mention that in my other videos. So every video I try to come up with something that I, I think you can learn from. That's not dry yet, so I'm going to leave that alone. I'll, I'll use a blow dryer if I have to. I'm just going to work around this now while I'm waiting for that to dry. Just look how pretty that is. Just because I didn't blend, look, I didn't blend that. So just all kind of hitting reds and yellows automatically. You see that? Isn't that nice? All right. Red. So all I'm doing is red on one side of my brush and yellow on the other. That's all. Where are you? There you are. And it's flat. And I'm going to add some more color to here. Take out your pedal. Touch and pull. You know, your pedal's already there for you. So it's a little easier to not have to worry about shape anymore. If your shape you don't like it, just add more. To shape it up as you're going along. All right, I'm gonna do this one here too. This one seems to be dry. Nice, nice. See the colors? How pretty they are against the the blue background. And with a bit of yellow in those greens there, those green petals, they're also complementary. So, so think about how complementary colors and uh, that will help you put together some really nice paintings give you color harmony 
It'll give you harmony in your paintings. You want to go right over that way. That'll give me a little bit of a highlight. See? Alrighty then. Isn't it fun? Are you having fun? I hope you are. I hope you are. Because this is all fun. Some people are very, very serious because some people are very serious anyway. And they, if you make it too simple, they will get upset. So if this is too simple, I have other paint, uh, painting videos that are, are more, more in depth and things, you know. So I got all kinds of videos for everybody. Don't get mad, get painting. <laughs> I know, I'm being silly. I just can't help it, I'm just having so much fun. Now it's a bit red, so I'm gonna add a bit more yellow to it, okay? Okay, let's see, I might add a little bit on top of that, what I just did. See, the paint is still wet, so I can play around with it. I like that with the way it's separating, isn't that nice? Just don't mix it up to a complete orange on your on your palette, just, just put the yellow on one side and the red on the other, so there's no mix. It'll mix itself on the palette, or on, the, on here. Let's do this one again. Oh, it's beautiful. Love flowers. Love, love, love flowers. Another one here. All right, let's get some more yellow. Go back and get more. Don't be afraid. Afraid. Good. Nice and orangey that one. Isn't it nice when getting the red and the oranges? You know? Really nice. Alright. Another one here. So like I say, all you gotta do now, because you already have the shape stumped, you don't have to worry about it too much. Unless you want to do, you know, unless you want to change it up a little bit or or fix up the shape. Pretty. I like it. Nice color red there. I'll add a bit more yellow. I leave that red one. It's nice. Look, I'm getting high. I'm getting like all kinds of values just by doing what I'm doing. Isn't that amazing? All well, mixed together, but not not mixed completely. It's nice. Yellow, red. I think I'm going to scoot one right in here, but look, see, well, it'll be a shadow, but see how the blue background changed it. That's okay. I'm having too much fun to worry about it. There we go. I'm going to try a little tiny bit of white. I don't know. I don't want to make a mess of it. All right. Because I'm just following the shapes, I don't have to worry too much about... How pretty is that? so pretty. I love it. I hope you do too. 
Maybe I'll add a few little white pe or orange petals up there by that green one at the back, I wonder. That would be too much. I don't know. Maybe a little petal falling off here. Touch and go up. Look at those cute little petals. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that so cute? Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... I don't think I need to do very much with those, actually. I don't think I do. Hmm. I might add a little bit of highlight on some of the corners to separate them, separate the petals from each other. I'll add some white to my dirty brush. Let's see now if I can make a mess of this. <laughs> it wouldn't be fun, would it? I'll give it a try. If I don't like it, I'll take it out. Just a little bit on the corner. There's just to kind of separate. I don't want to do too much because they look nice as they are, you know? Let's say light is coming from the right. The light is coming in from the right, so I might want a little bit of highlight on some of these edges here. Kind of like them the way they are. I don't want to. I don't want to do too much with them because I cut it really nice the way they are. You know, a little bit of brightness there. Hmm. I think I'll leave it. And what I'm going to do is. I'm going to redo the branches there. We'll put that here. This will be our shadow. I mean, okay, let's go with this. And I'm gonna put some highlight on top of that. And then we're going to take off the chalk. So let's put some yellow on our brush and we will do a little highlight on top of that there. Don't make one, one straight line, just skip over some of it and you can even come out a little bit if you want to get some idea that there might be a little branch sticking off or something. I might have to add a little bit of white. Doesn't seem to want to take the yellow. It's because of the background. See the background's really dark. There we go, that's better. I'll kind of, you know, don't kind of just put it here and there because it won't look natural. There, I've just a little bit here. There we go. That should do it. That should do it. Maybe we'll put little bees coming down here or something, you know, just to make it look like there might be something sticking out there. I don't know. Now, when that dries. I will get rid of the chalk lines, okay? You can see some of the chalk lines there. This here, I like to do something with that. Do we have a see how the blue background won't let you do it? So put some white. Then I'll go over again with the color. Yeah, I find that we need something here color or some brightness or something. It's something. 
have a look at some pictures and, and do your own. Alright, we'll do something down here too. We'll make the wing look more like a wing by making this little separated separations here like this. That doesn't have to be sharp on top like that. I'm just getting those separations in there. And I'm going to add color to that. And that dries because uh, the blue background wouldn't let me get a nice color there. So if you've got a background that won't let you get the color you want, paint it white. Good tip? Good. All right. Okay, so let's get some white. A little bit of white, a tiny bit of blue. So I'm thinking it might be nice. I don't know, a bit more blue. I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to do it on the spur of the moment, you know. So we got. Uh, Get that nice lift. I might need to put white on it. I think I don't have enough white. I think maybe I need to paint it white and again and let it dry. I think go up here to the bottom of that. We'll try to get that nice edge here to make it look like a wing. Go right here. Still not getting that edge there. I'm trying to get down. down. Getting some. There we go. It's a bit better. Just kind of make a little bump. So we can get a wing look to it, you know? When that dries, then we'll be able to put some more paint on it, see? Because of that blue background, it won't let us do anything. Now, in the very first painting I did, I just gave it some neutral colors. You know, I didn't do anything. I just got it started, got the shape, show you, I showed you how to put on I gave you a pattern. and showed you how to put on the hummingbird. But you can put on your own hummingbird. You don't have to go back to the other video if you don't want to. But you can look at it as a guide. Okay. There we go. Just a little bit of a sharp tail there. So it might look a bit funny now, but I think when that dries and we can go back over it again, it might get better results. And up here, what can we do up there? A little bit of white here in the front, because I'm going to say the sun is coming or the, the light is coming here. So let's put. A little bit of color here. Just try to add a bit of color. Let's let that fade out there. Let that fade out there. We'll just wipe off our brush and let that fade into the green there. Might even put a little bit more green on my brush. And there we go. That's nice. And that brightens up that back there a little bit more, doesn't it? Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? Good. Maybe. Let's add some color. Let's add some red on one side and yellow on the other, like we did with the flowers. Maybe we can add a little bit of dots down here of color. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that nice? Nice. I like it. 
I'm going to add a little bit of a, a dark blue and I'm going to just poke that in the eye. I don't think I have it. Make that white a little bit smaller because it kind of looks too big, right? Let's put that around the eye so it gives it a bit of a shadow there. It's better. See? Now. All right. I think I'm going to go with some yellow up there. Like, not real bright yellow, but kind of a greenish yellow or something. I'm not see see what we're kind of like that color there, but um, yellow and red, kind of a reddish orangey color. And we will get that on here. Just bring it up to the edge first so that we have something to, to work with. I know it's really hard to make this easy because uh, it's got more detail than I. I'm just gonna. I like that. I like that color because it's um, it's all coming together really nice, nice colors. All right, so that's that, and we can add a little bit of white, a little bit, not much, just to give it a. The more you layer your paints, kind of gives it a more realistic look. So layering is good for realistic, all right? So I get people say, oh, I wish I could make my, how can I make my paintings more realistic? Well, just add some layers of values and different colors on top of each other. It gives a really pretty nice, pretty look to it. All right, now that's nice, I like that. And what I'm gonna do now is, now we're going to take off the tape. Isn't that pretty? I think it came out nice. I'm just going to finish up a few little touch-ups here. And let's see, let's see. I just got to get a little bit of touch-ups here. I want to wipe out those chalk lines, right? So, you know, do your small details last, right? And as long as you get those little wings at the bottom there, it's a nice shape, it's good. And get a bit of shadow between the wings, that's good too. All right. That looks nice. And now, Get that yellow color there. Put that down a little bit more. Might be some steps that I had to go over again because I didn't like them. So I could be showing you some stuff and then I might change my mind. So I'm sorry about that. But that's part of it, see? I know there's some videos out there that they do it all, you know, and they don't show you the parts where they cut it out because it is kind of boring, you know? Sometimes to look at the same old thing happening. But I like that, that's nice. Brighten this up a little bit more, kinda. Kinda, kinda, kinda. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? What do you think? What do you think? I think it came out nice, actually. I think so, I could be wrong. But see, that's why I always say, as long as you like your painting, doesn't matter what anybody else says. Now, let's get rid of those. Um, let's get a clean brush, a very clean brush, no paint whatsoever on it. Put in a bit of clean water. Wipe it off in your tissue. Just a brush that will work for you. As long as this is dry, you'll be okay. Make sure it's completely dry before you go take out your chalk marks. I've got a feeling some of that is still a bit wet, though. All right, so take out your chalk marks. All right. See, so chalk is good to use. 
Hmm. All right. I think it came out really nice. And if this is not bright enough. You can paint this any color you want. Just be careful on the edges. There you can well. even make your frame some pretty designs. Like maybe take a long liner brush and run it through green and then run it through some white, some yellow. And you can make some nice squiggly lines and it look really pretty. See, just simple. Make a little twirl. And you do that on this side. Get some more paint. Make sure you have enough paint because it won't run. Then you get frustrated. What's going on? So just go down, wiggle, turn, turn. And right, then you can even do it down here if you want. Make don't have to be perfect, you can just wiggle it around. Same up here. There we go. Pretty, isn't it? Now that came out really nice. I like that. So that's pretty nice. There it is. So that's your finished painting. You can do whatever else you want with it. You can change it up. Do whatever you want. Very nice. Well, thank you for watching my video today. I just want to say thank you all for all your uh, support through my Patreon page. And um, just for watching my video. So I'm really happy that I could do this for you. And I get a lot of nice compliments. So... I am so happy that you watched that video and if you have any questions about what you saw in the video just leave your comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I can for you and we will do some more videos coming up.